Hey coders this is Neha from Webstack welcome to another episode on Node.js series so in this video we are going to use npm for installing Node.js so let's get started for starting the video if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe to Webstack and hit the bell to get all the notifications So in the last video we have left off on one question that if I want to switch between different versions of node how can we do that so there is one simple method by which we can actually use the different node versions on our same system that is with the help of nvm so let's see what is actually nvm so nvm is a node version manager it is not similar or nothing like npm which actually stands for node package manager which we have also seen in the last video that npm gets installed with node as well but nvm is used for managing your node versions so now you might ask a question to me that if i have installed current version why do i need to install nvm so in case you are working with your project only and creating a small project then you might only need to install the current version and that will serve your purpose but if you are working on the application or the code of some other person so it may be possible that that application is supported on a different node version so what to do in that case so that is why we need nvm so that we can easily switch between the different versions so let's see how to do that so if you are a windows user you have to go to this nvm windows page and if you are a mac or a linux user then i'll tell you how to install on those platforms as well so watch the video till the end so if i go to the page of this nvm windows github page and I'll see all the code is provided here. So I'll provide this link in the description box below. You can take the link from there. So now here you can check out we have some documentation as well. And here we are uh, having an installer and there is an option called download now. So I'll just click on download now and it will actually uh, get me to the page where I have these NVM things install like source code we have zip folders for the setup and no install zip is also there so i'll just click on this nvm setup zip and i'll download this particular setup so now you can see i have downloaded so luckily it's a very small package and now i will simply just open it you can also extract this folder if you want so i'm just opening it right now here and you can see that we have to give the admin rights here and after that you need to be asked with the agreement again we will not read it and then i'll just click on the next part it will say me uh, like where you need to store this nvm i'll just click on next in c drive it's fine and then i will want this directory to be installed in my path variable so as we have already discussed about dollar path in the last video so if you have not seen that video i'll provide the link in the description box below so now it will add this node.js path inside my dollar path variable and now i will click on next and again click on install so it will just simply install and it's quite fast you can see and now i'll just click on finish and we are done now you need to open your cmd if you are on windows or if you are on your mac or linux then you have to open terminal because right now whatever set of commands we are going to do that will be almost same in both linux as well as windows so let's go on and see whether my nvm is installed or not so you simply need to write nvm command and it will give you the description of nvm so as you can see here we have the running version of nvm as 1.1.7 and these are some list of commands that we can use with nvm so now i'll show you that on my system i don't have any node installed right now so now i will be installing it using nvm so let's say i'll write nvm install and whatever version you want to install for node that version you need to write here so let's say i want to install the current version and let me just check out for the current version 
So let's say I want to install this current version that is 14.13.0. It will actually start downloading this Node.js version. So let's wait for some time. So now you can check out the installation has been completed and now I will actually try to run node command again. So if I just write node, oops, it still gave me node is dropped or recognized command. That means I have simply installed node with the help of nvm command but I have not make that as used version of node in my system. So I need that version to be used in my system now. So I will be simply using nvm use. So this is a command which you actually write to shift between the different uh, versions of Node.js. So if I write nvm use 14.13.0, that is the version I have installed. So if I just click that, it will again ask me for the admin rights. And here we go. So now this version of Node has been installed on my system successfully and then I can simply check it by just writing node hyphen v. So if I write that you can simply check out it's giving me that version v 14.13.0. So now let's say I am working on some project which is actually compatible with a very old version of node. So now you need to simply write nvm install. So let's say I'm going to use that old version that is 6.14.1. And if I click enter, it will actually install that version. Now you can see that 6.14.1 has been installed. So there is a command to check out all the versions that you have installed for Node.js. So I'll simply just write nvm list. So if I write this, it will actually list all the versions that we are using. So you can check out that we are currently using this one and there is also one more version. Now let's say you are working on that project which is supporting this older version of node and now you want to change your environment to that old version. So to switch to that old version we will simply be using nvm use and then oops use and then I will simply write the version of that node. So the version which we have installed is 6.14.1 and if I press enter it will again ask me for the admin rights so I have to give that and then it has been done. So let's check this out. Now I'll check my node version that my system is currently using. So it has been switched. Now you can check how useful it is to use NVM so that we can switch to any versions we want. So now you can install any number of Node.js versions you want and you can switch between them using NVM use command. So for Linux and Mac users, you simply need to go to NVM uh, GitHub page and there if you scroll down a little bit, then you can find out all the commands that you can use. So there is a complete documentation provided here. You can follow this documentation. So you simply need to use this curl command and if you don't have curl installed on your system, you can either install it as well, but if in case it is not installed, you can use this wget as well. So curl is a very famous command that we use to install or to download anything from the internet. And once you have executed this command and you are not getting any errors, you simply need to run those commands like nvm use, nvm install in the same manner. So by using nvm, things are really easy. You don't need to uninstall every time you need a new version or an older version of Node.js. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed the content. And if you do, please let me know in the comment section below and stay tuned for the upcoming videos as we are going to actually start with the coding part. And in the next video, we will be creating first application in Node.js.